Hey guys, welcome. Today I want to introduce you to a very special person. He's a colleague of mine. His name is Che. He's a specialist when it comes to working behind a desk. So he will help you while you are working at home. Enjoy. Welcome to the Brightlands Work Workout video. I am Jay and I'm going to lead you through a series of exercises for which you don't have to leave your desk but will revitalize yourself for your next meeting. Let's start immediately. Let's start with a warm up. It has two major goals. The first is to detach from work and the second goal is to get ready for exercise. Therefore, we're going to start with some stretching exercises and get a bit mobile. So start with tilting your neck to the left and to the right. It should only feel relaxed. And now rotate your neck a bit. Okay, and we move our focus to our arms. So shrug your shoulders a few times and breathe in. Breathe out. And roll them a few times. And then we're going into our first exercise that is going to get our heart rate going and to get the muscles a bit loose. So make arm circles with them. And we start in front direction. And after 15 seconds, we alternate. So backwards. And get a bit of pace up. Okay, some more for the flexibility. Remove your chair, get your hands on the hips and rotate your torso. Now, extend your arms above your head. Make yourself tall and move to your left and to the right. And on to the next one for our cardiovascular system, running in place. A bit of jogging, you can make it harder by fasting the pace or by getting your knees higher. Be careful with your desk, your boss won't be happy if you crash it with your knee. Come on, 10 more seconds. Move your arms with you, get totally active. Okay, next, next stretching exercise. Feet wide, arms wide, and you go with your right hand to your left foot. And you switch. And getting a bit more flexible and your heart rate going in the warm up will decrease the risk of injury. And now, to really get loose from work, we're going to do a little dance. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Head, shoulders. And if you do this fast, it will get quite hard. And even for your coordination, but head, shoulders, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Head. And by constantly going, and moving upwards, flexing your knees, your heart rate is getting up, you're ready for exercise and on to the next round. Are you guys a bit warm and detached from work? So am I. We're now going to focus a bit more on our muscles. Let's get on. Okay guys, today another super set. And this day we're going to focus especially on our upper body. So few exercises for back and shoulder. We start with the book and we're going to do rows. So your elbows, pull them to your back and squeeze your shoulder blades every time. Make sure to hold your hands on chest height. So there is continue, continuous tension on your muscles.
Okay, that was the first exercise. We're going on to the next one. For this exercise, we're going to stand up. Also good. Remember to keep on standing during the day. And place your book on your desk and raise it. And slowly back and raise. And just tip and raise. And do every part of the movement controlled. So don't let the book drop, would be a pity. And tap and raise. Only one more rep for this round. Okay. Now we're going to do another row movement. We started with this row, more horizontal, and now more vertical upward. So, your book or a water bottle. And there we go. Almost feel like a chicken that wants to fly away. Okay. And one more rep for this round. And that was the first round of the superset. Have a seat again to start off with your next with the next round. First I did it with the book, but now entangle your wrists or your fingers, pull, make tension and pull back. But remember, squeeze your shoulder blade. This is great for the muscles between your shoulder blade, but now you, when you Tangle your fingers, it's also great for the muscles in your underarm and your wrist. Real desk energizer. So get up again. And you can make the next one harder by counting for yourself. One, two, three, up and one, two, three, down. One, two, three, up, one, two, three, down. One, two, three, up, one, two, three, down. Even harder, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, down. One, two, three, up, and I see I have to rest again. So when you hold it for 3 seconds, it will become even more harder. Your muscles will be under tension for 9 seconds. And that's quite hard. And here we go. Row again. And up. And up. And up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up, down. And this seems quite easy, it really is not. Okay, already second round. So that means only one round to go. You're doing great. So come on, give it your all the last round. So if you're feeling confident, two boots and squeeze. Choose for yourself the variation that suits to you. If you feel the last variation with entangling your fingers was nice, do it like that. I like to go with more heavy weights to get a bit of a sweat. For this one I'm just staying on the same level don't know how you feel about it but for me this is well enough mm. when I lift I start to feel my shoulders
These three exercises are really good for the muscles we need to relax when we work all day behind our desk. So make sure to use them because it is use it or lose it. Last 15 seconds. Come on, do some more. And just one extra. And that was it for this superset. We've been active, but now it's time to focus again and get ready for work. So let me guide you this relaxing cool down. After we've got our muscles pumped it's time for a cooling down. We have to get ready to get back to work again. For that we're going to get our heart rate up once again. So remove your chair and pretend that you're rope skipping. Do this for half a minute. And the added value of only getting your heart rate up for the last time is that you're training your coordination. Make it even harder. One leg few jumps, switch, switch to the other, and tap your desk for some nice music, but only do it when you're in a quiet space and you can't annoy people with it. Okay, heart rate up, 15 seconds of rest, in which we can shake it a bit off, get a proper bre breathing, and in the next 30 seconds we're going to focus on our core and our breathing. So take a wall sit and start breathing in deeply and do the same when breathing out. Tighten your core muscles. Extremely important even when we move to the chair next. Only a few more seconds. This is no muscle exercise but it's a cooling down. Okay, get straight. And now we're going to stretch. So first, the one we did in the warm up as well. Get yourself tall and to the left. And to the right. And one time up front. Please turn yourself around and don't hit the desk. And one time tall again from the bottom. Now we can take a seat and we're going to stretch our arms first. This bit is particularly important when we are doing desk work. So first your upper arms and then your wrists. Entangle your fingers, pull it back and feel the stretch. Now switch. Shake those loose. Did you notice? Your heart rate is going down, you're breathing properly, and your focus is getting back. You're back, ready to get back to work. Last thing we're going to do is mindful breathing. So breathe deeply in. Only focus on breathing out now. And what you experience. Feel the oxygen flowing through your blood. And if you notice your mind is wandering, get back to breathing. Make sure you're only focusing on your breathing. And that will make you more focused and is a helpful trick to perform whenever you feel stressed. So one time in deep. And feel ready. You did great! I hope you feel vital and energized to get back to work. If you have any questions or suggestions for challenging exercises, feel free to contact us. Feel free to ask for a counsel at Physiobastians. But for now, stay healthy, stay vital and stay tuned.